Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is an exciting unboxing of a Tinder Creation doll. And a lot of people have been recommending these dolls to me. And I actually ordered one directly from the artist, um, let's say about a month or two ago. And then one came up for sale on the secondary market. And she was a pretty good price, I thought. And I wound up, I was like, I really want her. And so I sold a couple of dolls really fast because, you know, you need to justify bringing an unexpected doll in. So I sold a couple of dolls pretty quickly and I was able to get her and she's here. And she is from, um, I think she came from, I'm, I'm trying to remember what country she was shipped from. Um, but I got her pretty fast. It took her like a week to get here because she was shipped with UPS. So that was good news. Um, because, you know, shipping right now is kind of iffy. She is really wrapped up. Step one, complete. Let's just move on to step two now, which is to get this part open. Holy moly. Um, but, uh, Meg Fashion Doll had her for sale, and she makes beautiful clothes. I have a lot of clothes from her that I use for my doll essence dolls, and also for my Popovi dolls. Um, and so, uh, I follow her all the time because I always like to see what she has, like what her new um, clothing options are. She makes really nice wigs too. I don't have any of her wigs yet. this way because she was safe for her long journey over. I can't get her out. This is like, okay, because I'm trying to be careful. All right. Oh, okay. She's out. Oh. I have to fast forward through all that. By the time I watch this, you might not have to see all that. Okay. Um, Oh, I should be using my new scissors. I'm too excited. Like, um, but yeah. Uh, so I bought her from Meg Fashion Doll, and I had been wanting. Um, like I said, I ordered one of these dolls directly from the artist, but I've been wanting to try them because so many people have recommended them to me, um, telling me they think I'd like them that I would like the body, etc. Okay, so here we go, finally. There is the box, so Tinder Creation. The artwork's beautiful on the box. Like really, really gorgeous. So that's nice, okay. I love a good packaging with dolls. That's always a nice touch. All right, so let's see how she looks. Oh, and by the way, I got, um, I bought a Pasha Pasha outfit that she had for sale because while she was shipping to me, I was like, yeah, let's, um, oh, so this is a belt. That's cool. That belt, I don't know if that belt goes with that dress or if this is like a bonus. So I bought this Pasha Pasha outfit because she had it for sale and while I was buying things and she was shipping to me, I was like, let me go ahead and get this stuff. So I'll do a separate video and show you guys this later. It's really gorgeous. Um, but so this doll is from Mar uh, March of 2019. So Tender Creation. And this is the Jenny Sculpt. So that's what I've got. And okay. Yay, this is exciting. All right, so I've got, she sent me two wigs. So she made a blonde wig. And she also made a red wig to go with her. And she made this outfit. So I asked her, could, did she have any outfits I could buy at the same time? Because I was not sure about her size and what sort of outfits she would wear. 
So here she is. Yay. Oh, she's gorgeous. She's really, really gorgeous. I love the outfit too. The outfit's really beautiful. She smells nice. Okay. That's a face mask. Got the wigs. I'm looking for the hands and feet because she came with a bunch of extra sets of hands um, and feet. So, oh wow, she's really, really gorgeous. All right, so I'm going to look at her jointing. For, well, first I better find her hands and feet. Are they down here? No. Let's see, they might be in this craziness of a box. They're not in there. Uh oh, did she forget to put the hands and feet in the bag? Let's see, here's the instructions for the feet and hands. Are they like in these little plugs? Yes, that's where they are. Okay, so there's little plugs in the sides of the package, and that's where the hands and feet are. Whew, that's good. All right, so let's see what this is. So this is let's see. There's a hand, we'll put that one there. And I like to I would like to I have some Mr. Super Clear and some pastels and things. Here's a high hilt foot. So I'll stick that on her foot. I would like to um, attempt to do some blushing. So there's like a peg, let's see, that kind of holds it in place. I didn't read the instructions, I'm just kind of going for it here. But I also don't wanna, let's see, there we go, okay. And then, nothing there, here's something here. That, those little peg holes are really, genius for packing the extra hands and things. All right, this is a, oh, this is the left hand. Okay, so I'm gonna put that one on. But like I was saying, I would like to do um, a manicure and pedicure on the doll's hands and feet, just because I like, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I like to have that part done, so. I didn't get it on just right. There's a little peg, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a little peg here, like on the side of the thing, and there is a slot for that peg in the foot. So I'm trying to fit that into the foot, like trying to put it in together. It's like a little now. But anyway, so this is one of the wigs that she sent with her, which I think is gorgeous. And let's look at her posing. So she's got really, like her elbow is double jointed and she can kind of, I like when they can put their hand tight like that to their face. So she's able to put her arm and hand tight to her face. And then I'm going to um, pull up her, her leg here so we can look at her knee joint. And let's see, so her knee joint, um, is double jointed and she can fold her knee all the way back which is nice and it's actually very fluid so it doesn't clip or it just it's very fluid it like just goes so that's nice and then I'm gonna check out her midsection here so she's got a joint um, She's got two joints in her body. So, oops, get on there. Get down, dude. There we go. Okay. She's got, I'm just going to show you guys from the back. Let's see. Oh wow, now I'm just gonna go ahead and pull her clothes down. Um, so she's got, let me 
take her wig off so I can really look. Her face is really small. Like, in comparison to her body, I feel like. Like, her face is kind of like smaller, but it's not too small. So, if you look at her, she's got um, these, she's got like two joints in the body. She's got a joint here and a joint here. Now, I know you can choose your jointing with these dolls. Like, you can choose a more jointed doll and a less jointed doll. So she can move all around like this. I wanna say the one I ordered directly, I didn't get extra joints in the torso. I could be wrong, I can't remember. And then she's also got these shoulder joints. So she's got, um, and I, I'm pretty sure I did not order these on mine that I ordered directly. I can't even move them, let's see. So the arm moves, but then this should also move. But I'm, it's kind of stiff, and I don't want to force it and break it, so I'm not going to. She also got, she got the neck joint, and then her head is on a ball on top of that. So she's gonna be a lot of fun to play with to see like what kind of poses and things she can do. Um, she's like a really, really nice, like the resin feels really nice and smooth. So I like that a lot. And um, she's really well sculpted. I think, what's going on here? I don't have to put her arm through the wrong hole. I want to say, and I could be wrong, um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Well, I got her mostly redressed. Yeah, now she is. Okay, there we go. So, I really love, like there's so many options here. I've got to fix this foot. This foot's gonna drive me nuts. I keep trying to put it on, it's gonna bounce right back off. But I wanna show you guys the blonde wig too. So let's see if I can get her in like a, oh, she's got more stuffing up here. There we go, let's pull that off off of there so like, I can set her I like dolls when you can put them in like really natural like sort of seated poses like that because that's good for display um, somebody was asking me earlier can you do a video about doll posing I'm not very good at doll posing Actually, Shira, who you've seen on my channel, is excellent at posing dolls. So I'm thinking, like, next time she comes over, we'll have to do a we'll have to do a tutorial about how to pose your dolls. Okay. So here's and see Meg. She made this wig. So she makes these wigs and clothes, and she does an amazing job doing all this stuff. So like, she's just really an awesome artist. Um, designer for these dolls. Let's see, I want to say this was a side part. Yeah, oh, that's gorgeous. Y'all, that is beautiful. That is really gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. She's a beautiful doll. Like, really beautiful. And the doll that I got, the doll that I ordered directly from Tender Creation is, um, she's the, what's the color? Cafe Coffee. She's a darker resin. So it'll be nice, and she's Victoria. So it'll be nice to have the the um, the fair resin and then the the tan resin together. I always like having different resin tones with my dolls. I like the diversity. So oh, she's really beautiful, really really gorgeous. She is a beautiful doll. I am not disappointed with her. Very very pretty. really gorgeous okay guys so let me know what you think in the comments below let me know which wig you like best if you like the red one or the blonde they're both gorgeous i don't i'll probably just switch them around um since you know since i've got two and they're, they're made for her so they're probably not going to fit in the other dolls but i really really like her like she's she's going to fit in really well with what i'm calling i'm calling these like my fashion dolls um, 
like my premium kind of fashion dolls that I have now. I've got quite growing a little collection of those and I really like them and I think that it goes back to like Barbie when I was a kid because I always loved Barbie and her fashions and things like that and I always loved the Tonner dolls from the Tonner company. I never could afford them back when Tonner was in business so I didn't have a lot of them but like I just am loving premium fashion dolls right now so that's kind of that's kind of my thing. If you watch the dolls I wanted when I was a kid, like Jean is on that list. And so it's kind of the same thing. Like I think my love for this sort of thing goes back to that. But anyway, like I said, let me know what you think in the comments below. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.